guys, it's Dana. Welcome back to my channel. So as you can see by my background, I moved into my new apartment at school this week. And I really wanted to show you some cool DIYs to put in your dorm room. Today, I'm going to be showing you how you can create a custom headboard for your bed. This is an awesome project because you can personalize it with any fabric to match your room. If you'd like to see how to customize your own headboard, keep on watching. So for materials, you're going to need fabric in any color or pattern of your choice. Some canvases, mine were 16 by 20 a glue gun, some iron-on vinyl, this is the Cricut brand. You're also going to need an iron and some mending plates and screws that you can get from the hardware store. First, lay out your fabric and iron out any wrinkles that there might be. So now you want to place your canvas on top of your fabric and you're going to cut out a piece that is slightly larger than the actual canvas size and this doesn't have to be like a perfect straight line you're not going to be seeing this in the end so it doesn't really matter so I did about an inch and a half away from the actual size of the canvas so you want to make sure if you're using a patterned fabric to put it upside down so then you can place the canvas on top of that and Now we're going to begin gluing, so just grab your glue gun and begin placing some glue on each of the four sides of the canvas and then take your fabric and fold that over to secure down the fabric onto the canvas. As you can see here for the corners, I'm just folding it in and then pulling it onto the top again and gluing it down. This is really simple and it doesn't really have to be neat at all because you're not going to be seeing the back. So as long as it's secure on the front, it should be all good. So this is what it will look like. You want to make sure that you repeat this step for all the different canvases that you have. If you're using a double bed, you want six. If you're having a twin bed, it's four. So then you want to take your mending braces, which will be what keeps your um, canvases together. So you just want to screw in the screws to each side of the canvases. So take your screws and put it right through the holes of the mending plate into the wood of the canvas. This next part is completely optional, so you can use just a pattern fabric or you can do what I did with the iron-on. So I'm just going to lay out my vinyl iron-on and make sure it's upside down and I'm just going to draw whatever design I want. You can be super creative and do any kind of pattern or design that goes with your bedding or your room, anything like that. So I went with a geometric pattern but some cool ideas would be like polka dots or maybe like a feather design or even like triangles or arrows or anything like that. You can be super creative with whatever pattern you choose. So then you just want to cut out your design with an X-Acto knife or some scissors and place it right onto the canvas wherever you want. I did this same design on the opposite canvas so it, you'll see it in the end but then you just want to iron it on based on the instructions given for the iron on vinyl. And I also put a little strip in the middle to connect both designs. So now to install it, I guess you could say, into your bed, um, you just want to place it in between the mattress and the existing headboard or the wall. So it should be able to stay pretty well there. You could also use like command strips, but this definitely like enhances your bedroom so much. I think it looks so much better than the original black headboard that was on my apartment bed. So I highly suggest this DIY. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below what fabric you would use if you made your own headboard. And if you're new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button down below. Also, a